why do peer review? Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do peer review, but it's very important to think about why you want to do it, to get some idea, some very clear idea about why you're doing it, because that's going to guide you all the way through the process of the peer review, right from the start, through what it's going to be reviewed, who's going to be reviewing it, how it's going to be done. You need to have that clear idea of what you're doing um, and why you're doing this so that you get the right results. Now that doesn't mean it has to be set in stone. There's nothing that, there's nothing that says that you've got to cling to that right the way through. You know, as you go on, through the process and various things come up and you discuss things with colleagues, you might say, oh, I think I'll change it a bit. But you do need to have a clear idea so that you can get the right result and get the feedback that you need. We think it's better that you actually take a bit of time at the start, think carefully about what it is you want to get out of it. Uh, and that's also going to be important when you talk um, to your peers who are going to be part of this process so that you can explain to them uh, what it is you're trying to get out of it, why you're doing it, so they can help you to get to the ends and to address the issues uh, that you might have with your teaching or discover that there aren't any, which is you know, a great result if, you, if, if that's what comes out. Uh, but you can't do that if you're not clear about why you're doing it and you can't have a clear conversation uh, with your peers if you can't articulate to yourself what it is you're trying to get out of this. Because there are lots of reasons why you might want to do peer review. You might have already identified an issue in your teaching. You might think, oh, there's something here that's not quite working. That might be just from your own reflections on your teaching. It might be from student feedback. It might be from something else. It might be that you simply want a checkup. In the same way that you go to the doctor occasionally and get a checkup, or you take your car to get 100,000 case service, you might think, ah, it's time to get the 100,000 case service on my teaching. Uh, you might want to do it um, for promotion purposes. The institution might have that as one of the things that you use to show your engagement with teaching. Now, a lot of institutions are putting more emphasis on that in their promotion processes these days. It might be that you just want to start a discussion with colleagues. A lot of what we do as academics is collegiate. A lot of our research is collegiate. We go to conferences and workshops and talk to people. Uh, we get peer reviews. So a lot of what we do is collegiate. And you might think that in your teaching, you think, well, I'd, I'd like to actually be able to talk to someone about this. I'd like to have someone to bounce ideas off and just discuss things with. And so peer review is one way that you can start this process. It gives a little bit of structure to it and a reason to start the conversation, some things to start the conversation about, something to talk about. So you might go to a colleague and say, hey, peer review me, and then you can start a discussion from there, an ongoing one that might last for a couple of days or weeks or could last for years. It gives you someone to talk to, someone to help you when you've got issues, just someone to bounce ideas off. Now, with uh, peer review that's mandated by the institution, one of the issues around that is staff acceptance. Uh, it's understandable that, that people will always question when their employer says, you must do this, why do I have to do this? Uh, so being able to work out for yourself what you can get out of it, how you can benefit you, and peer review has a lot of benefits uh, for you as an educator. So even if your institution is telling you they have to, you have to do this, uh, then it's important if you can have space and if the um, people behind these policies allow you the space to get your own results out of it, to set your own course through it.